All right, guys, well, you saw a couple things cutting out there. I was working on this little project, and uh, so we cut out a couple of more pieces out of quarter-inch material, and this was the last one I just cut there, and I think that's the back. You know you got a good part when you can't remember, you can't quite tell which is the front and the back, but that's the back of it right there. And then um, here is uh, one that's got some 200 thousandths diameter holes in it, and I'm gonna drill and tap those for a quarter 20, at least try to. Um, I don't know, I, I think that the you know quarter inch material, it looks like maybe quarter inch holes are maybe too small for that. Um, half inch hole and quarter inch material looks, looks really good. But it looks like the piercing is what is causing this extra divot here you know you can't really have much of a lead in on a quarter inch hole um and you can see the pierce on that it's pretty deep so if you tried to pierce in the center of a hole like that obviously you're going to get some here spreading out but overall like you know the edge quality you know really nice um but it is a laser and it is what you expect so these two parts are going to go together and then i was cutting some another part out that's some really small letters that go with this this is going to be a branding iron and it got the hole pierced right there and it was starting to move to the next pierce point or it pierced the hole and, and cut the feature out and it was moving to the next pierce point and um it stopped and i had a alarm uh saying that i had reached it y-axis and x-axis limit of course i'm not anywhere near the limits on either side so um the uh, that was about three or four o'clock and so i took a picture of it and sent it to my engineer contact and they come online about 6 p.m or 7 p.m and so sunday night here is monday morning for them so we did some troubleshooting and he had me send him some videos of different things and he quickly spotted that this board right here did not have a light on so uh this bank down here is all power distribution so and it feeds the other boards and so forth so the power input on this one was was right here and um so we did have 24 volts dc present right here but he went ahead and had me jump another wire to a different set i'm not sure why he had me do that and of course we had 24 volts and still no power on the board so they uh yeah that board is some kind of io board and I looked up the part number on Cloud Ray. It's 310 bucks if you buy one. You can see it right there, BL, BCL3766. I'm not exactly sure what all that board does. But um, anyway, I'll show you a little bit of the chat real quick and uh, you know the process that went through on that. Although I'm not happy with, you know, the thing's already got a problem. I am very happy with the support, you know. So, um, Go in the bootstrap DIY, you know, this is the basic setup that I can get You know, no American support no parts in America uh, pretty happy with uh, with these guys All right, so here's the chat log you can see I sent this uh, screenshot of the alarm and then a couple hours later they they came online and asked me to show them some different things and then uh, he asked me to zoom in on certain other things like the contactors. He had me reset the contactors for a given area. And you can see quite a bit of back and forth here uh, on that. And um, these guys are really smart and helpful. And usually almost every problem I've had, they're able to diagnose and help me get it figured out. I mean, there's not been any other hard failures. All the other problems I've had have just been user error. But they're pretty quick at even despite the language barrier at helping to get it figured out. And this is the chat log with Grace, who's my sales rep. And I'd already asked her about enclosures based on the other dialogue about safety and, and the uh, all that. So she responded with some information on that. But she also quickly said the engineer had already told her uh, about the board failure. And she was confirming my address and confirming that she would be sending out a new board and she was showing me the board in the box she had at her desk already and would be sending it out. So, um, and then confirmed all that. So 
Grace is the sales rep. She's been excellent person to deal with. Uh, very responsive, uh, very smart, very helpful. So anyway, just wanted to show you all this and I'll keep you posted uh, when I get it back up and going. Thanks guys.